every corner of Canada is prone to major temperature swings during the winter months, but the cause of the swing depends on where you are in the country. In the eastern half, it all depends on low pressure systems. Texas lows and Colorado lows scoop that warmth up ahead of them into the eastern parts of the country and drag that Arctic air down the backside. And that could give you a 20 to 30 degree spread from that warm sector to behind the cold front. Now in the prairies, it's all about the down sloping warmth. This is Pacific air that rises over the Rockies, drops its moisture and warms as it descends down into Alberta. If the wind's strong enough and persistent enough, that warmth can spread over to the Saskatchewan border. So uh, Grand Prairie right along the foothills might be in that consistent warmth while Fort McMurray, the down sloping wind eventually takes over that Arctic air. You can warm up about 30 degrees in less than 24 hours. Now those same mountains, they can be the divider between two air masses. The very cold, dense, lazy Arctic air wants to sink down to the surface while the warm Pacific air has to fight over the mountains to take over that cold air. So over the span of 200 kilometers, we've seen a spread of 40 degrees in the Yukon and northern BC. Now if you combine all of these factors together, the low pressure system, the mountains, the Arctic air battling the moisture and the warmth from the ocean, you can get upwards of 50 degree temperature swings in Alaska.